Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow Hearts. Today I am in Jen's shop because we have some more side quests to do. And someone was asking me the other day, Hey David, how come you're not doing the side quests after you rescue Alice? Well, I'm going to tell you. Once you go into Kohai Tower where, where uh, Daywai is, it's a point of no return. So, yeah, you have to do these side quests now. As far as my setup is concerned, I have the Zodiac Bracelet on Yuri, the Mind's Eye on Yuri, and the Pocket Watch on Yuri as well. If you really want to be careful, you could take the Mind's Eye off and put the Cosmic Bracelet on. I really don't think that that's necessary though. Also for my souls, I have Heaven's Fiend, Inferno, and Tornado. It's always good to have, um, this guy's good for, you know, buffing, this guy's good because, um, there might be an enemy who is strong against physical attacks and you have, might have to use magic on them, and this guy's good just for healing or whatever. Also, make sure that you have a decent supply of um, healing items for your HP and for your MP. And with all that being said and done, let's go over here and do our pit fighting. Sure. Oh, um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and then you can choose who you want to fight. The only choice is Yuri. If you choose Zhujin or Marguerite, that's fine. You can go through it. It'll be a lot harder, and your reward will be a lot less as well. So you really just want to choose Yuri. There's no reason to have anybody else go through this. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, the custom wind shear. This guy is... One of the harder ones that you can actually fight. Oh, great. Lovely. Yeah. And on the harder person, I screw up my mind's eye. That's great. There's actually two decently hard enemies that you can fight um, in this in this pit fighting area. This guy and his little cousin. I think it's called like the pea wind shear or something. So, yeah. Um, they are rough. They do ring abnormalities. And, um, I suck at mine's eye. Great! Seriously, could you, like, not kill me? For the game? Really? Seriously? Let's try this again. Oh, yeah. So that's what you could- that's what can happen when, if you're not careful, but, um, you know what? For right now, no. Because of <laughs> what did you come here for? Um, well, I want to look at my equipment for my hand needle. And, yeah, look at the ranges again. Okay. So, yeah, I don't have that Jade Lariat on. So, let's try this again. Also, the enemies that you can fight are random. Um, there is a set order. Or, or a set... Uh, how do I explain this? There's a set bank of enemies that you can fight. But which ones of those that you fight are random? Oh look! It's this guy again! Great. Let's try my mind's eye. Okay, perfect! <laughs> okay, that's much, much, much better. Thankfully, there's really not that much of a, um... Of, like, a consequence for not doing well in this pit fight. Um, honestly, I just pretty much lost the 300 gold. That's it, and it's 300 gold. Like, who really cares? I mean, come on. Doinks! Uh-oh. Um, let's see, let's go ahead and fuse into Heaven's Fiend. And let's have you use um, Sacred Remedy on yourself. Aw oh, man, I was going for a perfect. I can never get perfect though. I'm really, really crummy at this Judgment Ring. As you guys can all see. Yikes. Uh, no, just do, do an attack again. Come on. Woohoo! Got him! Nice! Hopefully his little friend doesn't come too. Um, because what you have to do is you have to fight enemy after enemy after enemy after enemy. And if I get an easy enemy, I'm going to use that as an opportunity for healing. So yeah, sure. 
I took her out in about three rounds or so. Ah, uh, sure. And I'm just gonna keep on going until I get to that, um, unique enemy. We shall see, because everything else we've seen. Well, lucky us, we got him, the P-Wing Shear. And of course, I'm still screwing up Mind's Eye. This really is the trade-off for using it. Yeah, you know, you do get double attack power, but I'm horrible. I mean, there's times that I get no hits in because I'm just that bad. <laughs> Uh-oh, yikes. There's a lot of enemies in here that can paralyze you, I've noticed. Um, I've had three sets of enemies so far to try to paralyze me. So I'm really glad that I, uh, whoa, equipped at that. So I'm silenced, but that really doesn't matter. I have items. Um, you know what? Let's use, yeah, let's use a Theraseed. Let's just be on the safe side here. Very good. I really don't want to die. I'm like eight battles in at this point, and I don't want to do all this again. Okay. Oh, this again. Man. Yikes! Uh, let's use, yeah, a, oh, I could use the root. No, the seed should be fine. I'm gonna save that root. I was gonna try to go for a perfect, but I was like, if I screw it up, I'm gonna die. So I really didn't want to, um, to push it that much. This frickin' mind's eye! Okay, whatever, we got him. Ho oh. ho Woohoo! Awesome! So yeah, I did all ten. And what did we get? Ooh, 5,000 gold! Awesome. Yeah, so not so bad. You spend, uh, 300 gold and you get 5,000 back. You know who? Who's you know who? Yeah, I'm kinda confused here. Oh! You mean my dad? Hmm. You remember what? Do tell. That thing. What thing? Are you not gonna tell us? Really? Seriously? Why don't you just say what it is? Oh my god. The lengths that these games go to to not tell you anything. It's ridiculous. Um, sure. Yeah, that would be great. I guess you were his party member in um, another life, a different JRPG. Kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy X with these flashbacks of, like, the other party, you know? You know, there we got Oron in our party, here we get Zhuzhen in our party, you know, like, the, the people that have been there beforehand, you know? Kind of a cool touch, never really thought about that until now. Oh. Yeah, we'll be fine. Oh. A cross. Well, at least she'll keep it safe. You know, considering that Hayuga wasn't safe. Oh, You gave him a fox mask, and now you terrorize him at night in his dreams. <laughs> okay. I wish that you guys did this 15 years ago. If so, I wouldn't be here right now. You know, I really like this as a reward for a side quest that you get, not only do you get the 5,000 gold, but you get a flashback too. You get some more exposition, you get some more storyline. That's really, really well done. It really makes these fights worth it. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, well, that's nice. You probably should have given me this cross, you know, whenever you first met us. But hey, we get Anne's cross. Nice. Yeah, no kidding. Kind of an odd place to uh, stumble across that. Well, let's check out this cross real quick. Let's see. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Where is it? Anne's cross. There it is. Successful ring restores wearers SP when they're berserk. This has um, Alice's name written all over it. It's really, really good. I like how it says the silver cross, the main character's mother. You know, it doesn't say Yuri. <laughs> I don't know why they made it so that you could rename Yuri. They really shouldn't have. They should have just kept everybody's name static. Anyway, I'm going to um, get on out of here. I'm going to save and go to the inn as well. Then we're going to head over to Kawaii Tower. I'm going to get my setup done too. So let's just uh, get all that stuff taken care of. Meet you in a second. Okay, I got that stuff taken care of. Also, I took off the Zodiac Bracelet and I put on the Jade Lariat. So my mind's eye will not be as pathetic as it was during that pit fight. The extra 20% will really make such a big difference. Make sure that you have everything done that you could possibly want to get done, including both of the side quests, before you go inside this tower. Again, this is a point of no return. Once we're done with this tower, you will never be able to go back to Shanghai again. Never, ever, ever take my word on it. And let's head on over here. Gotta use that key. Yeah, oh, probably. And that's the way these things work. Really? Seriously? Every single JRPG protagonist does this. I mean, come on. Oh. Ah! Yikes! For boss time! I love how Yuri knows it. Marguerite, our spy genius, is like, no, no, there's no way that that could possibly happen. And then it happens. Thanks, Marguerite. Your brain trust as usual. Okay, so what I want to do here it says it's stone. It's not stone. It's actually um, fire elemental. So we want to use water against him. But Yuri is so good with his physical attacks that I just want him to physically attack. Um, I am going to use Aqua Edge though on Yuri to make his attacks water elemental to make them even more powerful than they already are. It's such a good use of Marguerite. Yeah, she's not the smartest, but she is pretty decent in battle, I must say. Uh-oh. Why did you have a close-up on his balls there? That was, um, rather disturbing. Oh well. Now, this Life Sucker spell, yeah, it's expensive, but... It's totally worth it, dealing tons of damage. Yeah, very, very nice here. There we go. Let's see how much more damage we do now with the uh, Aqua Edge. Oh yeah, I would say roughly 20% more damage there. And I'm gonna have you use Grenade, since that's already water, uh, water elemental. Is this guy going to attack me? Is he just gonna buff himself up? Like, is he gonna do something? He's gonna die soon enough. Oh, come on, Marguerite. You do better than that. Um, let's see. I would say that I would put Marguerite on healing duty, because she's not dealing as much damage as Zhuzhen. And this guy isn't really dealing that much damage to us anyway. I probably won't even have to heal, but I'm just saying, you know, if I did have to heal, Marguerite would be the one who would do it. So, this Yamaraja has 1800 HP. Let's try Snipe, actually. Let's just give it a shot. See if that does any better. What did the last one do? Like, 90-something yeah, damage? Oh, it's about the same. Really? Ah, Marguerite. Whoa! Yikes! Oh, yeah, you're gonna have to heal yourself. So much for her attacking.
so it looks like this guy just raises his evasion, which is completely useless since he's not dodging anything. And he doesn't have any other kind of tactics. It's not like he's, you know, doing any status ailments on me or anything like that. Uh, yeah, there, relief yourself. Make yourself useful. There we go. And, you know, if you could, like, target somebody else besides her, that would be lovely. You know, kind of spread the damage around a bit. That would just be fantastic. I might have to use a nourishing potion on her. Because I don't think the barrel leaves are going to cut it if he keeps on going after her. So let's go ahead and do that. Just to be on the safe side. I mean, that's ridiculous. Spread out the damage. Go after Zhuzhin or Yuri. Yeah, much better. Uh, since you're healed up, we'll use a grenade. It's just easier to use a grenade than it is a snipe. It's just hard to use the judgment ring there. Yeah, I can use some help. I surprise here. myself whenever I get snipe on the judgment ring. I really do. But did we get him? Woohoo! We did! Sweet! Ooh, levels up all around. Awesome. <laughs> and then Yuri goes to rub it in her face. Really? Um, that means that they're actually thinking, unlike you. What is it? Oh. What? A turtle? Is this one of those votive pictures? Oh, hey, it is! Yeah, I wonder what that monster was doing with it. Yeah, no kidding. You would think that he would, like, have a vice grip on these things. Oh, well. Eh, we got it now. And, uh, yeah, we're going to use that to head up this tower and kick Daywise ass next time on Let's Play Shadow Hearts. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.